Welcome to Drive with Didi. So today I'm going to take you on the tour of 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe base model which is called Essential. So if you guys are ready, let's get on the tour. I would like to ask all of you to please subscribe to our channel because this does help and motivate me to make more and more video and another reason to celebrate if you hit that subscribe button is as soon as we hit our 500 marks on the subscribers I'll be giving away this Amazon essential tripod so to enter in this contest subscribe and into a comment just put a hashtag drive with DD and one lucky winner will get this tripod so if you guys are ready smash that subscribe button and let's get this tour started our tester today which is 2.5 liter regular engine which produces 181 horsepower and 191 pound feet of torque so starting here at the front the most noticeable thing is this led light system and this t-shaped daytime running light including the high beam this has a led light plus this gives me a vibe of a palisade this looks to me like a mini palisade with lots of area in a trunk space so starting here at the grill this is a flat black grill with silver Hyundai logo in it and a chrome finished along the bottom and if you look at this air curtain they are real nothing nothing fake here so what they do is make an air curtain around the side of the vehicle when vehicle is in the speed to give you more aerodynamics and help you in the fuel efficiency plus when you come here these are the skid plate chrome finish skid plate you have them in the front as well as in the back really aggressive looking front profile so starting here at the side profile this vehicle is running on the 18 inch aluminum alloy wheel which is silver and ebony finished they look really beautiful on the road and this fender flare is a flat black material so if you look at it this is also going towards this rocker panel which is on the side this is also a flat black material and the body color door handle plus you have a privacy glass for the second window and the third window and if you look at this one whole window is wrapped into a chrome finished material this has been carried over from their generation 3 that also had this distinct feature which is really noticeable from the side angle and then these are blacked out pillars also if you look at the mirror nothing fancy just the body color mirror this doesn't have a blind spot monitoring system and then when you come down you have a easy access to your fuel you still need to open a gas tank door but it's just the easy access and this chrome finished roof rails on the top clean looking distinct Santa Fe from the side angle so starting here at the back we got our shark fin antenna and then you got rear spoiler integrated into a tailgate and then this LED light integrated into a rear spoiler when you come down you got the rear privacy glass rear wiper and this headlight assembly so some of it it is LED and some of it it's just a regular light the one thing I want to show you when you come on this side this light looks just like a boomerang when you look at from the distance it gives you the shape of a boomerang and then we got this H track all-wheel drive system this H track system is developed here in Canada they say this is the best system developed for the all-wheel drive system so most of the power when needed is sent to the back wheel and then when we come down here this Hyundai logo and they have been using the same logo since 2000 Santa Fe this to me looks like a Sun a sunny city New Mexico Santa Fe <coughs> and the big no 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 like big no for me is this turn indicator which is integrated here so if you're in a bumper to bumper traffic and if you're like literally behind the Santa Fe and if he gives a turn indicator to right or left it is so hard to see this he wants to turn or he wants to stop you have no idea so Hyundai please take this off from here and put it somewhere here you have a lot of space that's a big no 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 and then when you come down this is a sportier single exhaust pipe system 
and the skid plate resembling the front as well so that's pretty much about this back so you just saw how aggressively they have made the changes in the outside but the more cool looking things are inside the cabin so let's hop and check those changes so looking at this seat this is a manually adjustable passenger seat and the material they have used here is really cool and plush looking material which is a soft and seems to be really rugged easy to clean material i personally preferred leather seat into my car because they are really easy to clean if you are going with the kids they make it so messy and it makes it really easy to clean them but these cloth seat seems they will get clean nicely so coming here you got a nice indentation or a cavity here so you can have your cell phone or any receipts you want to keep and then when you come down you got club box which can hold five manuals in there users manual and that's pretty much about the side so looking at the door i want to get your attention to this trim this is really nice glossy material it will be definitely fingerprint magnet but those small 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 triangle these are silver and black triangle gives it a premium look so you got all your window controls and lock and lock button plus your mirror controls are here and look at this material they have used this is really nice feeling material when you touch this this is hiding a speaker which is behind it and you got a good size bottle holder it can only take a small bottle and plus you can have magazines or if you want you can shove a big mac here so starting here at the ac vent this is wrapped in silver trim and then when you come down this is the button to control the brightness of your dash lane following assist traction control and your electronic park brake so this is heated steering wheel wrapped into a leather and this is not heated at the 96312 this is 360 degree heated steering wheel and you got paddle shifter to move that 8 speed automatic transmission and when you look at the dash this is you got analog tacho and analog speedometer and there is a small screen in between to explore all that information this has this vehicle has to offer for us so starting here at the steering wheel you got your all audio controls on your left hand side so your phone pick up and hang up button plus your volume knobs and your assist you can set that into your screen so your google assist or siri you can set that up in the screen and then when you come down to the right hand side you got all your safety feature so this is equipped with cruise control and also adaptive cruise control so what is adaptive cruise control is if you are going on a highway and if you are using adaptive cruise control the vehicle will slow down or pick up the speed depending on the vehicle which you are following and then this is a lane follow assist and this button will help you to explore the screen so you can and then let's coming to the screen this is 8 inch touch screen so you can just see you can touch it move back and forward equipped with android auto and apple carplay really intuitive screen when you come down this is the same trim which i showed you which is on the door and here uh, in the cabin as well you got all your hvac system and this is where they have made the most changes for this 2021 model so you got this shift by wire transmission system so you got buttons for all your gears so reverse neutral drive and park so what the what it has done is you are it has give you this floating center console and you got lots of space so see what i have done it can take a whole clinic box you can get a idea how big that space is plus a good size bottle holder it can't take a big bottle but small bottle can be hold easily and if your car is equipped with wireless charger it will be here and when you press this aha you've got one more bottle holder and a usb c another good feature in here is if you press this button you got more storage area which can take a big kleenex box and a tray for your candies this is quite big size center console area 
and to open it they have done it so easily so you just press the button open press the button open too much playing with it so look at this this does look a premium and it like beautiful plus you got all your drive modes so sports comfort snow mud sand and smart if you if it was me i would be driving mostly on the smart so let the vehicle do all the work for us and we will just enjoy the driving so you got your heated seat heated steering wheel auto hold and auto off so what this this auto off does is if you are on a stop light or anywhere you are taking a stop it will shut the engine two way it helps you is one fuel economy and second you save the earth less emission hill descent control and this camera button so look if i press this button you can see a camera and you can clearly see my kids playing out there say hi to him hey he is a car freak and then if you don't need it just press that button and the camera will shut off when you come up here you got your Back. mirror so rear view mirror and your controls for your lights so let's do our sun visor extension test 1 2 3 go yay and you got a lights for your sun visor which shuts off automatically when you let it go i want to get your attention to this floating center console which has given us so much space in between to use see my whole kleenex box can go through this is a huge space in the between also i can't see it but i can feel it there is one usb charger and one 12 volt outlet to keep your product charged also you got 1 2 3 and 4 omg handles now that we have seen how beautiful the santa fe is in the front let's check the comfort and space for the second row passenger so here in the back i got plenty of leg room santa fe is being known for the most leg room for the second row also these seats are really comfortable and the headroom i got plenty of headroom seats recline into a comfortable position so if you are on a longer journey you can just recline and be comfortable in this seat in the middle got a armrest and two bottle holders here. so you can easily have two bottles and a small maybe if you are at the mcdonald's you can get that small milk bottle and that can fit fit in between there it go and you got two ac vents and two usb chargers at the bottom so that's pretty much about the second row passenger so what i'm going to do now recline my seat and relax too much relaxation guys i had a nice nap but i forgot to reveal the trunk space let's check out the trunk space so to open the trunk there is a button right by this backup camera just press it and push the trunk door up and you are greeted with this huge trunk space which is 36 cubic feet also if you are going for a grocery and you did a lot of shopping and you want to go eat something you don't want anybody to see your shopping you can always hide it under this hidden storage area this whole thing you can pull it apart and use this space to store anything if you need a more space for storage in the back you got four tie down hooks also one 12 volt outlet and let me show you one more thing how you can maximize the space you can fold these seats and they fold complete flat and you get so much space that is total 72 cubic feet a huge trunk you can haul as much as you want so great space great look great interior great value for your money everything looks great to me except that tail light this will be really good value for your money if you are in the market please consider having look at this santa fe that's pretty much about our tour today so if, so if you are a subscriber thank you so much because this does help me and motivate me to make more and more video if you are not a subscriber please smash that like button and a subscribe button for the giveaway we are going to do 
and make sure you get more and more entry into that. That's it for today. Your DD signing off.